Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ford Tech Mecha Loco channel. Today we're going to talk about the latest and greatest Ford coolant, which is the new yellow coolant. Now this coolant is a phosphate-based oat coolant, which is similar to what the, the Asian vehicles have been using for years with great success. And this new yellow coolant completely replaces the old orange or oat coolant that Ford's been using since 2011. So I'm getting a lot of questions about this uh, new coolant because uh, Ford has totally discontinued the orange coolant and suppliers have been depleted of their stocks. So now they're being told to use this new yellow coolant and there's a lot of questions surrounding it. Can I top off with it? Do I need to do a drain and fill? Do I need to do a super flush on there? Are they compatible? What's going on? So today we're gonna to answer all those questions plus give you a brief history of the Ford coolants throughout the years. Let's get to it. Starting off on the left here with the oldest style Ford coolant, the old faithful green coolant. Now Ford and other manufacturers use this coolant forever it seems. Ford used it all the up until 2001 mid-year. Now this coolant is an inorganic acid technology based coolant that uses silicates for corrosion protection. It was great for the old style cast iron long blocks and heads of back in the day, but did, but because it used silicates for corrosion protection, it didn't offer the heat transfer capabilities that some of the newer coolants offered, okay? Plus this coolant did not last very long. It lasted maybe three years, 30,000 miles, and Ford needed something that could last much longer and of course offer better heat transfer. So in 2001, Ford started using the Motorcraft Gold Coolant. Now this coolant was a HOAT coolant, H-O-A-T, which is a hybrid organic acid technology coolant, which basically gave you the best of both worlds between the inorganic acid technology and the organic acid technology coolants. So this coolant gave you best of both worlds, extended protection, but it also offered greater protection for the aluminum blocks and heads that were starting to come out, the higher pressures, uh, higher temperatures these engines were running at, yet it was still compatible and, and gave good protection for the old cast iron blocks. This coolant is my all time favorite coolant. I absolutely love the Ford Gold coolant. Now Ford used this coolant all the way up until I would say 09 and 10 for certain models changed over to this coolant and for other Ford models they used the gold coolant all the way up until 2011 which is when they switched over to the oat coolant. Now in 2009 and 10 Ford dabbled in the P oat or phosphate based oat coolant similar to the new one that's coming out now. And this is actually a Mazda coolant uh, that they use in some of their models, like the Edge and the Fusion I know of, for about two years. Now this coolant's a, a weird, weird variation of the PO coolant. Um, it has a dark dye to it, um, it has a special bottle color, and you cannot leave it on your shelf for too long or expose it to sunlight for too long. It'll degrade the coolant very rapidly. So it's a special coolant for sure, and they only use that for a couple of years. But you can see a difference, it's definitely much darker than regular coolant. Now starting in 2011, Ford went to a full-on oat coolant in most of their vehicles. So oat coolant is an organic acid technology coolant, so it got rid of the phosphates and the silicates for corrosion protection and offered other protection methods which increased the heat transfer, but as we all know, the oat coolant, which is basically a Dex Cool clone, has a lot of problems with it. It has a five year, 100,000 mile life expectancy, but as we all know, this coolant has a lot of issues when it gets down to really cold temps, uh, has a lot of fallout issues, and a lot of protection issues also. So, starting in 2018, Ford jumped over to another version of oat coolant, which is the P oat coolant right here, which is a phosphate based coolant, which is yellow or lime green as you see here. So as you can see, it went throughout the years, we changed a lot of different colors, but they're pretty distinct in color. So you should be able to tell which one is actually in your vehicle. And of course, consult your owner's manual and make sure you're using the proper coolant for the vehicle that you are operating. Because like I said, each one of these protects in different ways for the different technology as you go throughout the years. Moving on, let's talk about how you transition over from the old orange 
oat coolant to the new yellow pea oat coolant, which I highly recommend for anybody out there running the, one of these two old coolants, especially engines that are running an internal water pump like the 3.5 liter Cyclone engine. It's gonna make it last much, much longer. The new corrosion properties of this coolant, the PO coolant, are incredible compared to the old oak coolants. So let's talk about it. So this new PO coolant is backwards compatible, like I said, with the old orange oak coolant and even the old specialty dark green coolants. What that means is that you can literally take this new coolant over to a system currently running the oak coolant or especially dark coolant and top it off. You can do a drain of this old coolant and put this in without flushing. You can do a flush of these old coolants from your system and fill with this. It doesn't matter. It's backwards compatible. Now, of course, to get the, the best amount, you know, the most out of this new coolant with its protection properties, you want to do a really good flush of your cooling system and then start off with a the yellow uh, PO coolant. A word of warning here though, because it's phosphate based, it reacts harshly with the magnesium and calcium in hard water from tap water. So you want to make sure if you're not already, you want to make sure you're using distilled water with this phosphate based coolant right here. Also, just because you switch over to this new coolant, which has a 10 year, 200,000 mile protection interval, that doesn't mean your old vehicle that was currently running one of these two coolants now has 10 year, 200,000 mile protection. Ford states that you need to stick to the original protection inter interval for your vehicle, which should be five years, 100,000 miles for these two coolants. All right, there you have it. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope it was uh, clear enough for you guys to follow. Um, like I said, it's backwards compatible with the old orange oat coolant specialty dark green coolant, but no other coolant. So if your vehicle originally had gold coolant or the original green coolant is not compatible with those cooling systems, do not use it. It's only backwards compatible with the oat coolant and the uh, dark green coolants. And I do highly recommend switching over to it as soon as possible uh, because it offers much greater protection over other um, coolants out there. It's a great coolant. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.